مولد يو نو مولد مولد النبوي ذا بيرث داي اوف ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم يو نو هو ور ذا لوزرز هو ستارتد ذيس ذا شيعة ون اوف اور ورست انيميز ديسكايز ان الاسلاميك دريس كود ديسكايز ان الاسلاميك اوت فيت Some of them are Muslims, wicked, deviant, misguided, and have all the evil qualities, yes. But many of them are non-Muslims, speaking on our behalf. The Fatimites, Al-Fatimiyun, in particular, began this when? In the 4th century. Means that As-Salaf Salih, the righteous predecessors, which the Prophet ﷺ spoke about, خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم have ended already the best of people are my generation and those who follow them than those who follow them they were already done the sahaba the tabi'een atba'u tabi'een the ulama never engaged in this after that virtuous time there came the shia the fatimites with the celebration of maulid and it, it didn't, it wasn't very popular it became popular in the 6th century by a king named Al-Mudhaffar Kawkaburi and the, at the end of the 6th century, beginning of the 7th century that's 6-700 years after the Prophet ﷺ returned to Allah and who, who entertained it? the ignorant on the top of the list, the Sufis who were already obsessed with the Christian way of life with the Christian monasticism the Christian asceticism living on their own and you know living the life of seclusion and the life of of carelessness and so on and so forth supposedly they were fascinated with that and then they reached a point where they loved it entertained it and then everything the Christians came up with they were on their path so then the Mawlid became popular and what happens in this Mawlid continues to amaze me. You know, many people claim that they love the Prophet ﷺ by celebrating this particular Mawlid. And we will address that among the misconceptions that they have there. However, one must say, one must say, do you think the Prophet ﷺ conveyed to us everything that we needed? to get closer to Allah? You must say yes. Was that included? No. So then what do we say? It's as basic and simple as that. It's that simple. These celebrations supposedly began with something lawful and acceptable, but they quickly, quickly grew into something that is totally un-Islamic. I've seen it with my own eyes. A female singer, half dressed, which means the other half is naked, singing on stage with a bunch of men in the audience during the moment. And suddenly, suddenly, everyone gets up. Why do they get up? The Messenger of Allah وسلم, supposedly just paid them a visit. So they stand in honor to him. Even though the Sahaba, they said, we would never stand when the Messenger of Allah وسلم, would come because we knew how much he hated that. So even the idea of standing was Islamically unacceptable. These people not only claim that he's, he's alive with them in that celebration, but they also do something which is against the Sunnah. Then don't ask about the Burda, Qasidat al Burda. It's a poem where the Prophet وسلم, is given the attributes of Allah and more. Among your knowledge, among the things which you know, is al-lawhu wal-qalam, the preserved tablet and the pen. You know the preserved tablet? That which Allah had decreed 50,000 years before the creation of the heavens and earth, that which none but Allah knows, they say this is part of the knowledge of the Prophet ﷺ. It's not the whole thing, this is only part of it. This is the mawlid. An innovative celebration, practiced by those who usually are the weakest in adhering to the sunnah unfortunately now we know some people have good intentions but good intentions my brothers and sisters are not sufficient in Islam having a good, good intention that is not supported with the sunnah is of no value 
Now let us answer some of their misconceptions. Before that, let us know that the Prophet ﷺ said, Do not extol me, do not exaggerate about me like the Christians extolled and exaggerated about the son of Mary. I am only the slave of Allah. So say the slave of Allah and his messenger. إِنَّمَا أَنَا عَبْدُ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ فَقُولُ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولُهُ I am only the slave of Allah, the slave of Allah and his messenger. So call me the slave of Allah and his messenger. Don't do to me what the Christians did to Jesus. What did the Christians do to Jesus? They celebrate his birthday on the 25th of December. They say, we are venerating him. We say venerating him is by obeying him and following his sunnah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you really love him, then you will do what he did. You will not do something which he didn't do, he never told you to do. They say, everyone does it. We say, if you follow the majority of people on earth, they will mislead you from the path of Allah that doesn't hold any water. They say, it's a good innovation. We say, this is amazing. This is amazing. Good? Listen now, just think basic words. Basic English terminology. Good innovation. Imagine if I give you a lecture about good shirk. <laughs> There's good shirk, brother. Good kufr and bad kufr and bad shirk. You know, you leave alone the bad kufr, bad shirk, but mafi mushkila. Good shirk is good. Brother, good shirk? Wallah, I'm not really, you know, I can't swallow this one. I'm sorry. Good shirk? These two are antonyms. Good innovation? The Prophet ﷺ said, every newly introduced matter is an innovation. Every innovation will lead you astray. And that which is astray is going to the fire. Then the people come after. He said, every, they say, but there's good innovation. Ajib. Ajib. Amazing. I don't understand. You know, I'm not a scholar. And, but there are some scholars who hold this position. Sometimes I wish I could go into their brain and see really what were they thinking? When they said there's good innovation, what was going on in their mind? Were they sincere? Were they something else? I'm sure some may have been sincere and made an error. But this is a, a grave error. Kullu, kullu, kullu man alayha fan. Does that mean that some of the people on earth will, will, uh, will perish and others will remain? Or does it mean everyone will perish? It means everyone. Kullu nafsin da'iqatul maut. Every soul shall taste death. Does that mean that some people will die or everyone? Everyone. Every innovation will lead us straight. Does that mean that some are all? All. How can they say this good innovation? Allah Musta'an. They say, we are encouraging the people to follow. That's a more amazing one. They want, they want to encourage the people to follow the Prophet ﷺ by innovating. That's like me telling you, okay, uh, we will be having a lecture about the prohibition of cheating. Okay, and then in the lecture, I teach you how to cheat. So brother, what is this? So if you want to cheat, you know, you get a ruler, you know, I'm not going to tell you, some of the kids will like the idea. <laughs> but the point being, is it possible that I tell you, you know, you know, cheating is haram. And then you see me cheating, I teach you cheating, you say, what is this? People come follow the sunnah, what? On an innovative festival. Yaqinta, begin by following the sunnah, then you will not even have the festival. Don't try to teach me how to follow when you yourself are not following. Amazing contradiction. They say, you know, uh, we want to encourage the people to read his bio. His biography, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Only on that day? Now, you know, on that day it clicked in your brain that you should read the biography that you teach the people the seerah. On a day which, the only day which you're supposed to avoid it, in fact, is that day. We should read the seerah and be familiar with the Prophet's life every day of our lives to the best of our ability with our shortcomings, not on a particular day. So these are the refutations. Okay. And that should be enough. If you have family members that celebrate this, advise them. There are many articles written, many books addressing this issue. You don't even need this lecture. This is for those who love to watch DVDs. But for excuse me, for others, there's written material that would really clarify it. If someone insists afterwards, Allah Musta'ad.